Hey everybody. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over our suffixes on our review deck. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving holiday and ready to get back to work. Suffix Y means full of, like having the quality of, somewhat, okay? So just for example, like dirty, full of dirt, okay? So Y has, suffix Y has many meanings. Suffix ing means are happening now. Suffix s is plural, means um, more than one. Suffix er means more or one who. So just like a baker is one who bakes, shorter is more short than the other one. Suffix est is the most. Okay, so if you're the most slow, um, you're the slowest. Okay, suffix est is usually used with um, comparing more than two items, so it's usually comparing three items or, or more, okay? Um, suffix less means without. Suffix ed, d, or t means already happened. Echo after me, concrete, e. Box, x. Balloon, b. Cube, u. Pose O, goat G, equal E, fish F, line O, whale W, hook U, duck K, tooth U, cat H, overalls O, pig P, nest N, Dog d, acorn a, best v, bicycle i, elephant e, sheep e, umbrella a, uh. turtle er, shark sh, dar j, dime i, cat k, rabbit er. Tent, t, sun, s, monkey, m, unicorn, u, chef, sh, star, r, kite, k, butter, er, octopus, a, doctor, er, zebra, z, apple, a, inch, i, Feather, th, thimble, th, dollar, er, wagon, w, rose, z, cake, a, anchor, k, bird, er, staple, pull, quilt, qu, yarn, y, cheese, ch, Horse or bubble bull ring ng handle dole bugle goal bottle toll nat n ruffle bull phone cry i candy e Leaf E, thread E, stake A, not N, wreath er, mouse ow, soup U, cow ow, bow O, rain A, hay A, circle C. Okay, here's your sight words. Come, said, could, something, some, there, into, of, they, don't, do, you, today, together, 
tomorrow was eight are full from four where one push to the should there what bush your won't would have want were who been trouble says does very love to any by done every many none only people put gone guess ocean question young trouble again against answer enough friend that is our last one okay let's go ahead into our lesson today our lesson here's our here's our new spelling words for this week okay so let's go ahead and read through these echo after me last bill fact quilt wish came shave like stone june farmer shook tool feet meat do does don't didn't too sentences are sweep the porch when the wind stops where did the girls go so you have a command sentence because a command type sentence tells you to do something this is telling them to sweep the porch where did the girls go is a question type sentence okay so these are your sight words so you have to memorize these words in order to be able to spell them correctly um they will not you cannot sound these out to spell them or to read them um here we have a capital J in June because it's the name of the month. So make sure that you capitalize the J in June. Here we have an O consonant E. So we put a maker in an I consonant E, an A consonant E, and another A consonant E. So don't forget about these E's because you do not hear them at the end of the word. They are silent E's. Okay, over here we have the double E digraph and the double o digraph one sounds like uh shook uh and tool ooh okay here is um combination e r er and a r r okay there are some other um here's our digraph s h with the short i combination q u Ilt. The C is followed by a consonant. That means you put a K back on it. And there's a brief over the A because it's followed by a consonant. So when a vowel is followed by a consonant, you code it with a brief. Here's the double L. Like in the floss rule, we have a short vowel sound followed by an L sound. So you double the L. And here is a vowel followed by a consonant, code it with the breathe. Okay, so make sure you study these words. Let's go ahead to our lesson. Um, spelling sound review, we already did some of these. So when I point to you and open my hand like this, then you tell me the letters that makes that sound. Er, E-R, -E T, T, -com or T 
final T comma E D. Number three, S, S comma C, final S F comma S E comma C E. So in the final position of a word, you can either have an S S S E or a C E make the sound. Number four, D. D final, D comma E D. Remember, E D makes three different sounds in the final position. Number five, T H. Sorry, I forgot my hand. Number six, U. L final, L L. Number seven, sh, s, h. Number eight, k, k, comma, c, final, digraph, c, k, comma, k, e, comma, k. Okay. So my k sound, my k sound is I'm giving, getting longer with each spelling that makes the k sound. Then number nine. I. I. Review words number 10. Miss. M I S S. Number 11. Stick. S T I C K. And number 12. Cheek. C H E E K. Whoops. And our sight words, number 13, again. A-G-A-I-N. Number 14, against. A-G-A-I-N-S-T. And number 15, friend. F-R-I-E-N-D. Your sentence is, what time does the show start? That is a question type sentence. Okay, so for your sentence, we capitalize the W in what time, watch your finger spacing, does the show start? Okay, and be very careful with your handwriting. I have looked at some of these, and the handwriting's not too good. So when you are writing, take your very um, take take a lot of time and just try. If you have to write super slow, then write super slow. It's okay. You do not have to keep up with me because you're lucky enough that you can pause the video and and take your time, okay? So if you can't read what you're writing, then I definitely can't read what you're writing. And whenever you do come back to class, um, you'll have to redo the work. You won't be able to turn that in if it's a, if it's a sloppy job, okay? So just make sure that um, you really work on that handwriting while you're at home. Okay, so here's our lesson. Today, I'm gonna to write two words down. Okay, I have two words, okay? When you come to a word you do not know, the first thing you should look at is for a suffix. Okay, do you see any suffixes in this word? No, I don't see any suffixes. Okay, next, you should look at, you should look for a final stable syllable. Do you see any final stable syllables? Nope. Then we should mark obvious codings like digraphs, combinations, and k-backs. Um, what obvious codings do you see? Okay, I see this C is at the end of a word, so it should have a K back. 
Okay, the next thing you should look for are vowels. How many vowels do you see in this word? I have one, two A's, and one I. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those vowels with a V underneath. Okay, so write a V beneath each vowel. A vowel pattern begins with a vowel and ends with a vowel. So we should look between the vowels to find the vowel pattern. Look between the two A's. How many consonants are there? There are two. So here's a consonant and here's a consonant. So I have the V, C, C, V pattern, okay? When we see a vowel consonant, consonant vowel pattern, where's the best place to divide? between the two consonants. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this between the two consonants. And look between the second A and the I. How many consonants are there? There's two, so there's another two consonants. I'm going to put a C. I'm going to put my division line in between the two consonants. Okay. Let's look at this word's vowel pattern. This is simply a B, C, C, V pattern, vowel pattern twice in the same word. So I have B, C, C, V, and then V, C, C, V again, okay? So twice in the same word. Um, now that we have divided this word into two syllables, or into syllables, I'm sorry, into syllables, we'll code the vowels. Before we do that, however, Let's see if the vowels are part of any combination, diphthongs, or digraphs. Are the, any of these vowels part of something else? No, they're not. So how do we code this? How do we code this vowel? Well, remember when a vowel is followed by a consonant, we code it with a brie. Okay. And how do we code this vowel? Once again, vowel followed by a consonant, we code it with a brie. And this last vowel, vowel followed by a consonant, we code it with a breathe. So all of these vowels are short. Now, can we read this word? Let's try. At, l, an, lan, t, ik. At, lan, tick. Atlantic. Okay. So, after we um, coded this, we can say it now, Atlantic. That is the name of an ocean. That is why it is capitalized. Okay, the same thing here. Do we see any um, uh, suffixes? We do not. Er is a suffix, but not in this word because September is not a word because this part of the word is not a root word. So it's actually a combination ER. We see the vowel, a vowel, vowel. Go ahead and put your consonants. Division lines in between the two consonants. Any other obvious codings? No. Nope. So let's go ahead. When a vowel is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. This vowel is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. And then this vowel is with the er, the r, so it makes the er sound. So now we can say this word as s, ep, Sep, t, m, tem, b, er, September. It is capitalized because it is the name of a month. Okay? So, September. So, even though these are bigger words, you can still use your codings to figure out how to say them. This is our rule card. Okay? It is just coding a bigger word using the VCCV pattern, and looking for final stable syllables, code combinations, digraphs, okay, um, suffixes. Okay, so that is our lesson for today. So if we go back to our worksheet, turn it over to the back, your new sounds and words, these are going to be a little bit bigger words. Number one is carpenter, C-A-R-P-E-N-T-E-R, -E -E carpenter. Number two is September, September is capitalized, so you draw a big S, S-E-P-T, 
T-E-M-B-E-R. And number three, establish. S-E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H. Okay, pause the video if you need to catch up. Remember, read these words, spell these words, and write a couple sentences using these words. Moving on to our worksheet. Okay, so once again, do we have any suffixes? Nope. Affixes? Nope. I mean prefixes? No prefixes, no suffixes, final stable syllables? Nope. We have any other, we have a combination OR right here. Anything else? No? Okay, so here's a vowel, vowel, vowel. Consonant, 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 consonant. Division line in between the two consonants. Vowels followed by a consonant. Go to it with a breathe. This one is with the or. And this vowel is followed by a consonant. Go to it with the breathe. You can say this word as im or t ant. Important. Okay, this is a Y, but is it a suffix Y? No, because this is not a word, okay? So with this word, I have a Y at the end of the word. It's going to make the E sound. We just put the dot above the Y, or the dot and, sorry, the, the macron above the Y because it makes that E sound because it's in a two-syllable word. And since the Y is making the E sound, it is a vowel. So I have the VCCV pattern with the division line, and my U is short because it's followed by a consonant. And I say this word as B -un -bunny. bunny. This one, I have an I consonant E. So when you see an I, a vowel consonant E, it makes it a long sound. And now you can say this word as N, ice, nice. CE also makes that S sound. Okay, and in this bigger word, we don't have any final stable syllables or um, suffixes or prefixes. So going to go look for obvious codings. I don't see any except for this K back on this C because it's in the final position of the word. I have a vowel, 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 consonant, 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 division line. My A is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. A is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. And once again, I is followed by a consonant, so I code it with a breathe. So all of my vowels are the short sound. Now I can say this word as fantastic, fantastic. Here I have a final stable syllable, D-L-E, dull. My U is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. My C is followed by a U, so that is a K back on the C. And now I can say this word as cuddle, cuddle. And my last one, I have the A, I, A, I has the A. Okay, so my A, I makes that A sound. So I put a macron over the A, cross out the I, and this is sail. So you can match your pictures. That's a sailboat and then a bunny. On the first day of class, our teacher told us it was important to get to class on time. She said it was our job to keep track of what time it was. It is important that we get back to class when the bell rings at nine. If we are late, we will get a tardy slip. When is the bell going to ring? It says it right here, at nine, answer to question seven. At nine. What will we do at nine? Have lunch, go to bed, go back to class. Go back to class at nine. And it says it is important that we Get back to class when the bell rings at nine. So question number eight. Tardy must mean 
late on time absent if we are late we will get a tardy slip so tardy must mean late oops sorry okay and then on the back do the same thing make sure you're able to read all of these words code them and read them practice reading practice writing answer the questions prove your answers and that is it for today. Thank you. Have a great day.